A veil of despairing silence hovers around nuclear weapons. There is a feeling amongst all of us that there's little or nothing we can do, and we've been living with it for 80 years. There is something that progressives can do. We really can change policies. Biden himself has said that he wants to alter some of the key policies that are leftovers of the Cold War. One of them is first use. This is the United States claim that it can be the first to use nuclear weapons, even if it hasn't been attacked by a nuclear weapon. We can change that. The other is sole authority. This is the insane leftover of a time when Harry Truman alone was left with the decision of whether to drop a third atomic bomb on the Japanese. And he wrote on the bottom of a memorandum from General Marshall, ask me first. That's the extent of the authorization. But what we've got is nuclear monarchy, as the New York Times calls it. We have one person, and think about who that could be. We have one person who has complete command over our nuclear weapons in terms of their actual use. We can change that. In a time of universal communications, instant communications, it's crazy and irresponsible for us to leave that in the hands of one person. So, first use, sole authority, we can change this, and we must, in the lame duck, following November 5th, in that period, let's make Joe Biden do what Joe Biden wants to do. He said in 2020 he was ready to change first use. He has spoken about sole authority. Let's get this done. First use is a declaratory policy. That means he can write a memorandum, and it's done. Let's make it happen. And sole authority is a bigger issue. It's complex, and we have to think in terms of the 25th Amendment and other places where we've looked at who should be in the room to make the most faithful decision. This is a problem we can solve, and it's in the hands of us, of progressives. PDA is going to lead the way. You need to engage in this thing. Let's change these leftover Cold War nuclear policies. Our children will thank us.